guys, we are day five here in St. Thomas. We are at Drake's Seat, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, right behind me. We are on the uh, tour, and our last stop will actually be at a pirate museum, so that's really cool. If you're lucky enough, you will get on a bus that has air conditioner like we did, thank goodness. The other buses are made kind of like safari uh, looks, so uh, they have no doors, but they do have a roof on it, so you do get some shade, unlike the double-decker buses that we were on yesterday. But man, look at this view, so beautiful. Makes complete sense why it's one of the top beaches in the world. But just another reason to come on an excursion with Royal Caribbean. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you get here, they sell beer. Oh. Salute. Then, Drake's seat is actually behind me. It's literally a seat. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's up there. As we have made it to Megan's Bay, and man, is it spectacular. The views are phenomenal, as you can see. And right behind me, perfect location for your chairs to lounge out right by the bar. They have a wonderful rum punch is their specialty. And very good and strong, just like we like it. Very beautiful, very beautiful. You can tell a lot of people are here. A lot of the excursions stop here for about two hours is what our excursion stopped at. And then um, once you get done with that, you get to go to the Pirate Museum. Great for the kids. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, right? All right, we're gonna check out a video here. Hope you enjoy. They're still flat. We kept sailing kept exploring. We traveled the oceans to colonize new lands and harness the seas to transport trade goods and treasure to and from locations near and far. And we used it as a stage for every kind of great nations. Sometimes the journey was successful, but it only takes minutes for conditions at sea to turn from fair to fatal. While we learned to sail with the ocean currents, we've never been able to tame the ocean itself. The mighty storms that travel amongst the waves have taken down the largest ships in existence. Millions of shipwrecks lie on the ocean floor, and now you can explore the treasures and history they reveal. Welcome to Pirate's Treasure, a shipwreck museum that reveals hidden treasures from thousands of feet deep, spanning thousands of years of maritime travel. You can experience the power of Mother Nature, discover the technology used to locate shipwrecks, or even try your hand at recovering treasure. Explore the treasure fleets that sail these waters, the real pirates of the Caribbean who are ready to attack them. And the true story of French pirate Jean He defended the British Navy time and time again using the same Thomas as his safe haven. The British eventually found his flagship right here in the St. Thomas Harbor and set it ablaze. But they never captured him. And now your journey of exploration is about to begin. Step inside and back in time to discover shipwreck secrets of the deep. Here at Pirate's Treasure, a shipwreck museum. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jules.
Yeah. Big boat. Look at that. He used that for like, he used this for wow. drinking and he used the dominoes for playing and he used um, the brush for brushing their hair and stuff. That's right. And that. Silver, it looks like. Why is the rum all gone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is the rum always gone? Ooh, wow, Julia. You're splashing. Other way, left, left. No, that's right. That's Go the other cool. way. Named Zeus. Zeus can lift up to 600 pounds. There is a second floor to the Pirate Museum. Really cool stuff up here. More artifacts, beautiful paintings, as you can see. Great photo stops behind the Pirate Wheel. Captain's quarters, a little dungeon area. The brig. And then a pirate queen for all the ladies out there. Very cool stuff.
very cool. Really cool picture right here. Mm, some shackles. Some artifacts. Looks like a cat jawbone. Wow. If we can focus. Very cool. It's a gun. Ooh, pirate flags. Different type of flags. And then of course, the swords and a skull. Very cool. They call it a saber, not a sword. The one to the left is called a saber, and the one to the right is called a cut glass. Very cool. Of course, you can always ask somebody too. you of course have a pirate's life for me kids love this stuff adults love this stuff history you gotta love it and you can actually survive a hurricane if you want to feel hurricane winds and get in and feel the power of the hurricane. Check it out. We've survived a hurricane. Yeah, if you're from Florida or Georgia, we've been through the hurricanes many times. Alright guys, now we're going to check out the gift shop. Time to spend some money. Oh wow. Very cool. Look at the treasure. Pretty cool pirate museum. The kids love it. Definitely encourage taking this excursion. Beautiful beach area, relaxation, and then to end it at the wonderful pirate museum. Thank you guys for joining us. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you guys. If you have a wonderful vacation, make sure you check out the pirate museum.